Uh, do we get various towns for doing the bounties? I do not know. We'll have to go back to Swift Solutions and find out, because these are the first bounties we've ever done. Uh, mostly because we, we could probably have done them back in Ding Dong Dell, but I did not actually know about the bounties. So, you know, it's the first ones that we have done. So, are you going to give me some form of uh, stamps for these? I know we get like other rewards, I know we get like the... This isn't the Swift Solutions, what are you talking about Mendez? What's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> this is the Quartermaster store. I, I get confused. Like I, I don't know the okay. I don't, I don't I don't entirely know the difference between the two buildings yet. Bear with me. I've only just started this LP, really. You know, it's it's kind of funny that I can say that we're like thirty episodes in. I could be like, yeah, I've only just started this LP. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a long one. Uh, defeated one bonus. Oh, hey, that counted, even though I died after it. Cool. That's actually really interesting. Uh, claim bounties. Dodd. Hey, I do get stamps. I do get, I do get two stamps. And the well one sword and 50 money cash monies. Well one sword, 50 money cash monies. Oh wow. I, wait, did I get bonus merit stamps then? Why? <laughs> I'm not complaining or anything, but and four salted ice creams and some money cash monies. Hey, I'm over 2,000 money cash monies now. Awesome. 2001 exactly. <laughs> that, that annoys me. I need to go find a store where I can spend a single gold. <laughs> uh, I do kind of want to... I kind of want to do that just because it's there, but at the same time, I don't... I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. I will take this, though. Additional restorative glimpse. Hell yes. <laughs> I am I am very glad for having that. That is what I've been working towards for a long time. I think that most of the other uh, merit awards, like that does nothing. That, it, I guess it does a little bit, but not much. That does a little bit, but not much. That does a little bit, but not much. I really don't know. I, 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 really, I kind of want to go for the jumping jack just for the animations. <laughs> Uh, that's probably what I'm going to go with next, honestly. <laughs> I don't know when we're going to unlock any more Merit Awards. I don't know if that's going to come with time, or progress through the game, or... Maybe you have to buy previous Merit Awards to kind of unlock. Maybe you have to buy like three of the Merit Awards that are there or something. I don't know. I don't pretend to know all these things. I'm just playing the game. So! Would you like to see some magic? I'm using Gateway. Back to my world. Oh, he disappeared! Oh my god! Where'd he go? Who can say? He's gone off to another dimension. His own dimension. Returning to wet from whence he came. Amazing. So, who is this girl gonna be? So where to start the search, eh? Remember how this works, isn't it, Ollie Boy? It's all about spotting the similarities. Somewhere around by here is someone who's similar to young Esther in some way. Now what girls do you know? Uh, He doesn't talk to girls, he's too shy. Can't quite put your finger on it. I don't think we've really seen any girls apart from Scary Mary, but it's obviously not going to be her. Uh, I mean, there's some women that we've seen, but I don't think it's going to be them either. I don't know, let's see. Leela's Milk Bar. Is it Leela? No. Uh, like, I really don't even know where to start this search, really. Oh, wait, they're down there. <laughs> Maybe it is going to be Scary Mary then, I don't know. Because that's taken us to Scary Mary's, like, backyard. Uh, it, you know, it, it's kind of funny that I was, like, I was going to do a lot of exploring the town and talking to people and, you know, seeing if I could figure out who it was, and then I just thought, oh wait, yeah, it's on my minimap. <laughs> I could just do it the easy way, you know. I could just do it like this. So, uh, what's up, you two? No, I'm not talking to you two. Hey, I just thought... What's up, man? You have a nice time thinking about the girls, is it? No, I just... When he used to come here to Phil's garage, there was a girl. She always looked, she was always looking at us from her window. Maybe it is her, then. I thought that uh, Scary Mary was actually going to be the equivalent of... Uh, the, like, witch woman. You know, the, the woman that, uh, that was looking at us, staring at us, through her crystal ball. I thought that'd be her. Oh, fair enough. Okay. Whatever you say. If she is the 
equivalent, and that's fine. The one is obviously a flipping soulmate. Is that obvious? I, I never noticed. You sure have good eyes, Mr. Drippy. She was only in the window for a second. Never underestimate the razor sharp eyes of a fairy, my boy. Spot a speck of dust on the head of a pin, I could. Anyway, it's hard, no mistake. Let's go and barge our way into a bedroom. Okay. That sounds like fun. <laughs> I'm gonna get arrested. <laughs> Oh well, if I get arrested, I can just kind of gateway out to the prison cell. You know what? I, being a wizard has some major, major perks. I can just teleport away whenever I want to. I mean, okay, I guess I need a wand. So like, if the authorities really wise onto my strategy, they could just take, take away my wand or something. But you know, huh? It's no good. There's no answer. Is something the matter, dear? There's nobody home, you know. The house is closed, just like her heart. I need to speak to the girl who lives here. You're a friend of Myrtle's? Oh, you poor dear. You must be awfully worried about her. Huh? Oh my, you haven't heard? Just between you and I, things haven't been going so well for Myrtle's family lately. How come? Her father works every hour of every single day. Nothing but work, work, work. He's never at home anymore. Such a shame. Rusty was always a devoted father. But something has happened to him. He changed. I hear him shouting at them through the walls. I don't know how poor Betty copes, let alone young Myrtle. Such a shame. Betty is. That's right, dear. She's Rusty's wife, and she's every bit as devoted to him as she always was. By only this morning, I heard her promising to bring his lunch down to him at the garage. All the love she puts into those sandwiches. It's enough to break your heart. Why? I'm welling up just thinking about it. Such a kind soul. Poor, poor Betty. I have half a mind to tell that Rusty Cartwright just how lucky it is. he is. Jeepers. Oh, just listen to me gossiping on and on. Just do ignore me, dear. I'm a silly old woman. Say hello, say hello to Myrtle for me, wouldn't you? I don't know your name. How can I say hello to someone for you? This random woman says hi. <laughs> don't know who she is. Crikey, sounds like things are non too in the Carthright household, eh? Mr. Drippy, we can't leave her like that. We have to help her. We have to help Myrtle. It's easier said than done, Ollie boy. She's not coming out for a chat and we're not getting in unless we go magic in the door open. That's magic the door open. <laughs> I'm the only one who knows how. I'm the only one who can go in there and speak to her. You sure you want to be doing this, Wanda? My mum died, I... If you hadn't taken me over to your world when I thought I was all alone, if you hadn't helped me, I'd still be alone right now. That's why we have to help Myrtle. If we don't, she'll be left staring at a window forever. All alone. Is justification enough for a bit of break and entering in my book? It's not justification enough for a bit of break and entering in the book of the police, I can tell you that. Okay, Mr. Drippy. We're going to get arrested. <laughs> Oh well. It happens. Oh no, it went open. It's proper weird. A rubbish little lock like that should have popped, up, popped undone easy peasy. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong with the Drippy? It's this dormant, there's an evil power protecting it. Your spell didn't fail, it was repelled by a malevolent force. Jeepers! My all of his catchphrases jeepers. Drippy's catchphrase is tidy. Everyone has to have catchphrases. Must be the girl, in it? She's the soulmate of a sage's daughter, after all. You think? So what do we do? I'll tell you what we don't do. Carry on trying to get in by the front door. It's not exactly polite just barging into people's houses anyway. You're right. I guess we'll have to find some other way. Ah, how do we get in? I don't know, but the game does. <laughs> That's what's important. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I know you. I know you. I know you. Stop. In the name of the law. P, maybe. What's going on, only boy? Maybe P knows something. What the flipping heck's going on? P! It's PP time! <laughs> Oliver, you have to go in there! Okay. That was difficult. It's open! <laughs> Amazing. It was P. It was my P. I peed on the door. Never mind all that. Let's get in there, shall we? There's a damsel distress up there, mud. Okay. Who are you? My name is Oliver. Don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm a kid from right here in Motorville. Just like you. I know. I've seen you. You have? I'm sick. I can't leave this room. If I go outside, it hurts. So all I can do is look out at the world from my window. 
Get a TV. That's why they call us Steady Mary. Shh. Don't worry, man. No one can hear me by you. I can talk as loud as I want. Yes. That's why they call me Steady Mary. Huh? Tricky, can she hear me? That's what they call me around here. But you knew that already, huh? Uh, uh I... I bet you think I'm weird, don't you? Yep. No, I, I don't. Very weird. It's okay. I don't mind. Weirdo. You should go before my father comes home. Uh... Oi, come here a sec. This is proper weird. I've looked as hard as I know how, but she doesn't seem sick at all. She's as fit as a fiddle, in fact. You mean, you can tell? I'm Lord High Lord of the Fairies, and I, of course I can tell. So what is wrong with her? Well, whatever sickness she had might be gone, but something still got a hold over the poor dam. Hmm. What is it? Oh, um, uh, nothing. I'm gonna come see you again. Okay, Myrtle? Huh? Well, if you can't leave your room, I'll come to you instead. That way we can be friends. How does that sound? Oliver... You can't. Huh? My father won't allow it. You should leave. But Myrtle... It's just like you said, Mr. Drippy, it's almost like Myrtle and Esther are the same person. You know, though, they could be twins, man. I knew that soulmates the moment I laid eyes on her. But she ain't broken hearted. There's something else just stopping her from getting better. Her parents, her family is broken hearted. Sounds like a fair folks aren't getting on too well. But the family squabbles really are the kind of thing we want to go getting mixed up in, Ollie boy. Well, clearly we have to. <laughs> you know, it's not like we really have a choice about this. Family is important, it's everything. Next up, Rusty's shop. Let's go, Mr. Drippy. Okay, so we gotta go see her dad. I don't know what the plan is gonna be. Maybe we're gonna get, like, the emotion of love or something. Like, we've got enthusiasm. Maybe the next one's gonna be love. I mean, like, he's gonna need love or something like that. Yeah, yeah, love solves everything, you know? That's one thing I've learned from uh, pop culture. I see, it must be Rusty's garage. How can you tell? Except for the big sign that says Rusty's auto repair. Got a bad feeling in my lantern about this. You better make sure you are good and ready to before you go in. Okay, Mr. Drippy. Wait, 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 why? How can I be good and ready? Uh. Stop scaring me, Drippy. We're going in. Screw you. I'm ready. Bring it on. Kalima, Kalima, Kalima! 